Hello, hello, my friends. How's it going? It's about that time. We are back at it again. Here is Calciford, a rare Calcifer sighting on this on the stream. I don't think he likes to come up here when I'm streaming because he doesn't like the mic. He doesn't like that the mic is right here. <laughs> and what he'll do is he'll arch his back and fucking move the mic all over the place. Um, because he takes forever to fucking sit down and <laughs> and settle in. And then when he does settle in, you can't see him at all, really, with the regular camera angle. You can just kind of kind of barely see him. Are you, are you going to get comfy? Okay. Come on. Lay, just, just lay down. All right. <laughs> nice. How you guys doing? We are back at it again this weekend. Or not weekend. It's not fucking weekend. What am I talking about? This weekday. On this Wednesday e e uh, afternoon. We're going to be playing some Risk of Rain 2. Um, I'm going to be trying to just grind unlocks. Um, I'll play whatever, whatever survivor I feel like playing in the moment like I usually do. Um, but generally my goal is going to be with each champion, I still need to get the skin. I need to beat Mithrix on Monsoon with all of the champions except for Huntress. And then I need to beat the Void Fields at least once so that I can get uh, the Void Fiend finally. Those are the two main unlocks that I'm going to be working on. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys' week has start out, or started out fine. I took um, I took the 25th off from work because that is when Indiana started a special session on abortion, uh, which is fucking wild to think of. That uh, they 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 went out of their way to hold a special session on abortion, and like everybody knew that it wasn't like to, to that, that they were like rushing to protect it or whatever. <laughs> Everybody knew that they were rushing to like ban it. So um, I took the day off and me and Temp went around and uh, walked around town spreading awareness, I guess. <laughs> that that was our that was our main thing. We only did it for a couple hours. I mean, we don't have a whole lot of activity like organizing that happens around here. So really somebody walking down the street with a sign in the place that I live is uh, is is pretty pretty loud still. Um, just because of the size size of where we're at. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how that's gonna go down. I heard that they introduced they introduced a new version of that bill uh, either today or yesterday that um, is a worse version of the bill, <laughs> apparently that um, so like the original bill, the original bill was, um, it was going to restrict abortion in all cases, except for in the case of like incest or rape. But the new version of the bill um, also restricts that. It like reduces the metric to, it reduces the metric to like how far into the fertilization process you are. It doesn't matter if you were raped or anything like that. They're counting it by like fertilization period or something bullshit like that. And it's really, really stupid. And everybody hates it even more than the original version of the bill, but yet they are still debating it. Um, so that that'll be interesting to see to see that how that happens. Um, and by the way, in in case none of you follow me on Twitter, like this is it's just restricting abortion like that is just abject fascism. Like just abject taking the bodily autonomy from people and enforcing it. Like it's it's awful. The, th that is my position on that. Just in case uh, nobody follows me on Twitter and is familiar with my political takes, but yeah, it's it's wild. So, but I I we we get by as we get by, I, I suppose. I'm still like considering whether I want to stay in Indiana or not, because like I I feel like regardless of where I go, I'm gonna be like breaking the law in some form. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna be criminalized in some way no matter where I go, so it's just a matter of picking which place would be the least awful to live in for my circumstances. Which, by the way, I'm incredibly, incredibly lucky to not be, like, disabled or, uh, 
anything like that um, because they have a lot more things to, to keep in mind when it comes to that stuff. For instance, I um, don't have a, a uterus, so that is something that I, I mean, of course, my wife has a uterus, and, but like then again, me and my wife want to have kids at some point, and like, again, I also don't have a uterus, so like, I have the privilege of like, it would probably be more fine for me to stay in Indiana than it would for other people, but even still, I'm not, I don't trust it, um, there's, <laughs> There's a lot of like really, really scary places in Indiana, um, racism wise, that the, stuff that I've learned ever since uh, like Trump and George Floyd, and like ever since I started get, being more in tune with that kind of stuff, is that there's a lot of like really racist towns kind of like within a within hundred miles of us. Hey. Pizza's home. Pizza has been working on their classroom. Because it's, it is almost that time for teachers to be going back to doing teacher things. Oh yeah, somebody somebody uh, put like three three Jadens and then one Jalen. I think I'm gonna go grab those crit glasses. I think I would basically trade any white item I find on this level for those crit glasses. Except maybe my backup mag. Like, I would hesitate on the backup mag, but I'm not sure if I have a scrapper to get rid of that. Oh yeah, I'm also starting to open up more, uh, put out more tendrils to find like freelance work and shit. I uh, started doing, or I, I signed up and created an account and profile for uh, Upwork, which is like a, a really well-known freelancing type thing where you go on and you list your skills and your experience and shit, and then um, you get paid for like freelance gigs and stuff that people go on there for. Um, and I went on there because I was like, maybe I'll be able to find some freelance jobs because I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, I'm a beginner. Like, I'm somebody who has not done shit. I am, I am babby when it comes to um, freelancing. Um, it, or at least I thought. At least I thought. Um, as if uh, you've been here a while, you may recall that back uh, last year, I wrote a few articles for Tech Radar, um, which is a, a fairly well-known um, tech blog type thing, tech journalism uh, website. I wrote a few articles for them, and I went on Upwork, and I was using those as, like, whenever you go, whenever you're looking for work online, like, people are probably, especially for, um, creation type stuff, uh, content creation, they're gonna want, like, a portfolio. Like, they're gonna want your past work, which makes sense. Um, so I gave them examples, and my examples were my Tech Radar articles. And, um, they uh, said that I had told them how much I had gotten paid for those articles, and like I had thought that that was kind of like, like I like a moderate amount, you know, like not something crazy. Um, but they were like, why would <laughs> they were like, I don't think it would be a good idea for you to work for us if you're used to that kind of standard for like getting paid uh, for for work. Like we can't afford that because we're like a small blog or whatever. And like that makes sense. Like they weren't trying to underpay me or whatever. He was very candid about it. But. Uh, he was like, I would, I was really expecting this job just to be for like new freelancers. And like, then I remembered, I was like, most people that start out freelancing and writing, they don't, they don't get paid that much. Like they don't get paid anywhere near that much. Some people don't even get a job. Like some people don't even get the, get a gig like that. And then like, it really hit me how good of an opportunity I got with those, with those articles. Um, and like also it's like very value val valuable valuable experience um for wait where the wait 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 where did my executive card go hold up hold up i had an executive card where did it go oh 
Is it a... What? Oh, duh. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I was like, why didn't the multi-shop... Why did the multi-shop close? It's because I switched... I forgot that multi-switches equipment. I'm so stupid. So yeah, that... Long story short, that kind of just inspired me to... Uh, um, up my standards. Like, I've got... Uh, I've got uh, three tech radar articles, and like, those are all like very extensive, uh, well written, and um, they're like valuable things to show somebody. So like, I, I guess I didn't think about like how that could be perceived by, uh, or I don't know. I, I guess I was just in the end. I was just underselling myself. I think was the main thing. I was like, I'm not that great. I'm not that experienced of a writer, but like, I kind of am. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I think I want to keep at least. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm glad I got rid of that key, but <laughs> don't don't get rid of the backup mag. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I think that's it. I'm just, I'm done. <laughs> Six, six crit glasses, I think, is plenty of damage. But we def- Oh my god, I am so late. Like, intensely late. I'm gonna have to go through the next stage without getting any items, I think. The things we do for crit glasses. But where the fuck is the shrine? Okay, I found it. I'm really hoping we can just breeze through this and I'm not gonna have to worry too much about taking damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Greater Wisp. What? On the first stage? Come on, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't die. This ice is fucking me up. Oh, this ice is fucking me up. I might've fucked myself over by waiting so long. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is, this is the importance. This is why I am so strict about my five minute increment rule is because shit will get out of hand very quickly in Monsoon. Yeah, yeah, no, there is no way. No way, That that is the prime reason. I mean, then again, I was stacked up on crit glasses and I like wasted a bunch of, I don't know, like maybe it would have gone differently if I didn't exchange all of my items for crit glasses, except for uh, like a backup mag and a delicate watch or whatever. But um, the number of enemies, <laughs> like that it just gets, a matter of like two or three minutes could mean that your first run is just inundated with enemies. That'll teach me, teach me to be on time. Some CEO somewhere is like, that's how, that's how work should, <laughs> that's how work should be. If you're late, you die. <laughs> okay, we need to not loiter about too, too hard. Okay, that's not bad. A band. Ooh. And some gasoline. I feel like I heard one of those blind pests spawn in somewhere. <laughs> Eminis? 
Oh, there they are. Oh, oh, I got, I gotta knock him. Why does he look weird? There we go. Oh, he was farther away from the tree than I thought he was gonna be. And a quail! Chest. I think that's a big chest. Oh no, that's not a big chest. Oh my god. I've gotten three green items within the first two minutes. I need to, I'm gonna grab this. I did see a, uh, a what's it called up here? Uh, fucking b -b 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 void cradle. <laughs> Why was I? How would I remember that? Void cradle. I guess I'll grab this. And the fungus ain't ain't bad. Or I guess it's fungus. We need to leave ASAP. Uh, hello? Is it up there? Feels like this area is a little big. I think that's the general feeling that I get whenever I'm in the siphon forest. Feels like a very big map. Hey, there's a scrapper. Okay, let's 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 go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm late for a very important date. Yo, why am I getting like... I'm not getting like actual bosses. I'm just getting like elites. And I guess the golems aren't too, too bad. Easy peasy. Ooh, and we got a missile launcher. So I'm gonna recycle this key. I think, and the in the grenade maybe. I think I don't need the grenade because I have a stun. I think I, I mean, I'm hesitant to get rid of the horn because I can feel like it's some, I, equipments are a lot of my uh, kit, I guess. Oh shit, we're got, or the grounds temperature begins to rise. Is, this, is it a wisp level? 
Oh no, it's it's a lizard level. We out here in Lizard Town, USA. I think that was one of my uh, one of the one of the things that I forget about living in like the West Coast and California and shit is that um, lizards are a common occurrence uh, on the ground and shit. So, like out here, we don't really have little reptiles. Um, we got like pill bugs and shit. But um, out in the West Coast, uh, lizards are quite common, and you could just be walking down the street and you'll see a lizard out on a fucking rock just chilling. I don't like I don't like these these the lemur men, men. lemurians. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh no! Stop! Is that an encrusted key? I mean, I guess. The only bad thing about the encrusted key is that. Uh, You are very much giving up your potential for getting rid of, uh, or getting a bunch of white scrap from, from keys. Stop it right now. Get away from me. Okay. We're at seven minutes. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta leave. That means we're, we are de we're gonna get a, uh, uh, an elite Lemurian boss, presumably. Probably after the stream, but yeah. Shrimps made peanut butter pie. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta leave. <laughs> I need an adult. I just feel so slow. Like, I don't know. There's a fuel cell printer. Oh my god, please, please just leave me in peace. Ah, oh, another fucking grenade. Attack speed. Where is, there it is, okay. Get me out of here. Okay. Oh god, it's an overloading? What the fuck? What stage are we on? Christ. Oh god, Jesus. Ugh, what the fuck is this? What is this shit? What happened? I had so many green items. And I got hit by three elite bosses in a in a row in overloading Elder Lemurian on the third two, second stage, not even the third stage. That is some wild bad luck. It seems I've also noticed that sometimes the game will get I don't know, maybe it's just the fact that I played Risk of Rain too much. Um, I, that I'm anthropomorphizing it, but sometimes it feels like the game just like really wants to spite me. Like the game just like, it'll, they'll, it'll start me out on one stage and I'm like, God, I fucking hate this stage. And then like, I'll die really early. And then I start a new run and then it puts me at the same stage.
I just want I just want to get a good multi run. I got a really good multi run the other day. Feels like all of my best runs happen when I'm not streaming. <laughs> I should probably just like I should start recording my my runs to be honest. I think it would take up a lot of space. Like that would be something that like if I had if I had like a hard drive or like if I bought just like a like a cheap really high capacity hard drive. I would just record all of my Risk of Rain runs and then like cut them down or something. Okay, healing drone. Banner. I think it's really ironic. I made a I made a pixel art uh, Lemurian to today. I just like I was like, oh, I haven't made any art in a few in, in in like a week, and I'm playing Risk of Rain tonight. So I just banged out like a little animation of a little Lemurian pixel art guy. And I was thinking to myself that. Uh, or, or somebody made a, a comment on the Reddit post that I made about it. They were like, uh, God, they should make Risk of Rain into a pixel art side scroller. Very, like, very much just like being, being like intentional, like baiting about the fact that ri the original Risk of Rain exists. And I was like, I, I, I like Risk of Rain too, like a lot, but I feel like I really just would not enjoy the original Risk of Rain. Like I, I've tried to play it. It feels like has obtuse controls in, 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 in at least controls that I'm not used to. And I don't know, like it just doesn't look as snappy or satisfying, I guess, in, in, in a way, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, apparently the original Risk of Rain was a lot more broken and less balanced and stuff. And like, that's fine. It, it led them to like making this, you know? <laughs> But I don't think, I, I was looking at a trailer because I was like, you know, maybe I should play the original Risk of Rain. Uh, and I was like, yeah, this doesn't look like something I would want to play. <laughs> or at least compared to, like, I would, not exactly something that I would want to play, but like, why would I play it when I have this? <laughs> right? Oh, all of the every enemy, all of the boss enemies dropped items. And, oh, like even if you encountered them in the interesting. Yeah, Risk of Rain 1 sounds pretty fucking broken. I feel... I, I feel like this... It's either... It's the length of this map, or not the length, the size of this map, or it is the fact that multi is just slow as balls. Because, like, I feel like I just I just can't get to the teleporter before five minutes on this on this stage at least this stage I don't know if it'll be similar to other stages I feel like I've had trouble on a couple other stages but I can't fucking get to the teleporter within five minutes and if I do like I'm gonna be super under under itemed yeah At least we didn't get an elite. That's that's good. Thanks, game. Ah, nice, predatory instincts. Ah, come on, no! 
<laughs> I hate that I can't aim, like, I have to, like, step back. We're gonna have to rush through the next stage, but that's fine. I'm gonna take a gamble and I'm gonna see if I can just let this run and I won't die. I know I could have just paused the game, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> We need to go very fast. I have a scrapper over here, but I have nothing to use it for. <laughs> nothing. No reason to use it. Calcifer, please. All right. I really want to get this med kit. I have to find the teleporter ASAP. Ah, it's all the way over there. Ah, oh, god damn it. Grenade. I'm really hoping I can pick up some sort of some sort of movement speed because I am I am struggling. I want to get this. I want to get this big chest. I can't just leave it. Okay. It probably wasn't even worth it. It was just a shield. <laughs> okay, let's go. I am definitely gonna have to run through the next. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to actually run through the next stage. Another Beetle Queen. Not bad. Yep, getting that bleed is so worth it. We got a band out of it. What do you know? These guys were the death of me on my last run. They are so bad. I think I'm actually, now that I'm listening to it, I'm gonna, I keep wanting to 
like one of the things that I want in my streams, I guess, like my the aesthetic of my my streams or whatever, um, is that I want the game music to be like I want the game music to be very prominent. I don't want the sound effects to be taking over the music, and I feel like a lot of a lot of games tend to like try and balance the sound effects over the the music a lot. Um, so I found myself more often lowering the the sound effect volume and just leaving the music volume on on full. Um, because I notice in my vods a lot of the time that it just feels like that the music is like very very quiet. And the most the most that I can hear for, of the game sounds is like sound effects and shit. So, like the music in in a lot of these a lot of the games that I play are the music is a, a a big factor in why I like a lot of the games that I like. Um, so I feel like if I if I'm playing games that I love, um, I would I would want that aspect to be to uh, be front and center. You know. I'm playing uh, Near Replicant right now, and there's uh, Near is one of those series that it's like the music is is amazing, and um, it just gets in your head um, in like a really strange way, and uh, it's also very dynamic. Like uh, all of the tracks in Near, um, Near Automata kind of did this and made it more popular with a lot of people, but uh, I've realized that Replicant also does it as well to a lesser degree. But um, all of the tracks in, in a lot of Nier games have uh, have like an instrumental version. They have a uh, vocal version for the instrumental. And then they have like a high intensity version that is like just another layer. Like it's like drums or something that they added on to it to make it more intense. Um, and they move between those depending on where you are, like in the world. Um, so like for instance, in Nier Automata, um, you would be traveling around... Um, traveling around the amusement park area and outside of the, the amusement park there would be like a really low kind of like carnival type type music track to it and then when you enter the when you enter the amusement park it like starts to get more like the violins will come in and like there will be uh, more instruments will just come in in general uh and then when you get like really into the heart into the to the like deep of the amusement park the vocals will come in and it like the full and then when you get into a battle like the drums will come in and shit it's just like really 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 cool um and it's that kind of stuff that i really want to share with with people you know and in my own games i kind of want to make something like that i think it, it's just like such a cool thing Of course, you, you have to get, like, a good melody or whatever. Like, you, there's still... It's not just about, like, playing the same song through the entire thing. Like, it actually has to be a good... Like a... Like an ear... Uh, an earworm. I'm gonna get out of here right... Right now! Like, I don't know, even now, like, the sound effects still, like, they're at 50% volume, and even now, they, they feel, they feel too loud. I think that's why I enjoy listening to the Risk of Rain soundtrack so much on its own, is because I can hear like how the music I, I just I don't know like I notice parts of the music that I'm like wow this fucking jams why don't I notice it as much while I'm playing and it's like also it's also because I'm focusing but also just the sound effects and like that's not to say that the sound effects are bad like sound effects are good um but I don't know I'm a, I'm, I'm a music music gal oh oh look uh, I <laughs> I need to get my thing ready. I'm gonna go through all of these. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oh, I'm gonna die for that though. I'm gonna die for that. <laughs> I'm gonna pay for my sins.
Oh, nice. We got a mired urn. Yeah, I like this little guitar solo. I don't hear that shit when I'm just playing. I don't know why I've not done it yet, but I should probably add the Risk of Rain soundtrack to like my to my drum playlist. Uh, when, I, when I'm practicing drums, I have like a, a playlist on my title that I um, add songs to that I want to try and learn on drums. A lot of these songs on the Risk of Rain soundtrack have really good drum drum parts. Now we can mostly take our time when it comes to farming. I really need to, like I've got a relatively good base. If I could get some crit glasses, these this predatory instincts would be a lot more useful. Oh my god, the gup, the gup knocked me off. <laughs> All right, the golden chest is not over here. I learned a couple of the places that the golden chest uh, spawns in addition to the the one plate or the other two places that I knew where it goes so I think we'll have a better a better chance of getting a red item consistently on this stage oh god do we have a void seed I wasn't paying attention ah Got another dagger printer if we really want to throw away some white items. If I could find a scrapper, I might use it if it's the only printer that would be good over here because I think getting more bleed would be pretty, pretty nice. have enough for the gold chest. Ah, oh, more dagger for free. And a fuel cell. I'm interested to see what this, uh, this void seed will hold for us, though. And if we can get more attack speed, that would be good too. I think that, that that's another vector for us to 
grow our power on multi is just get as many soldier syringes as we can. I think that I think the risk of rain devs knew how good like crit glasses and syringes and shit are. It feels like I don't encounter them as often as is other things. little bugs are the worst. Oh my god. Stop. Stop and stop spreading. Um, hello? There's one more. Where, where, where's it at? Oh my god, it's all the way up there, Jesus. I don't think the gold chest is, uh, is behind that pillar, but it's possible. It's a mushroom. Fine, 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 fine. Rip bozo. Okay, let's get the infusion. Because that is just. That's just more health. I think that the gold chest is either going to be on this shelf over here or it's going to be under the pillar over there. At least a couple items. No, don't, don't, don't you do, don't, don't do it. Bugs, get out of here. No one asked for your presence. Oh. I do not need the lost seers. <laughs> I mean, it would be good, but like, I have predatory instincts already, and I don't think. Like, if I can get regular crit glasses, I feel like I would prefer that. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh. I keep forgetting that you can't escape out of the, the item selection thing. You have to manually click the cancel button. Okay, is this spare drone part? Oh, we got spare drone parts. And that's going to be in addition to the to the red item that we get from the gold chest, assuming there is one. Okay, lysate cell. I don't need that. That'll just give me, that'll, that's completely useless on me. Okay, um, pretty sure the gold chest is gonna be on that shelf over there. I didn't see it behind that pillar. Oh yeah, we are doing great on bleed damage. I think the only place we're lacking really is movement speed. I still feel like I'm moving slow as shit. Oh, I guess the gold chest could be up here. That's a possibility. Nope. 
not not up here. So that means it's probably over here. <laughs> is my item gonna fall off? It it is. Oh no! No, it's not. It just barely caught the edge. Oh, I should make sure that I have enough money for the, for the. God damn it! I knocked myself off. My hubris. Holy shit. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. I like went- Oh, jeez. What the fuck? I like went flying. I- I would really like it if my healing drone were to heal me now. Did I grab that white item? I did not grab that. Wait. I feel like it. Okay, never mind. I didn't even get to see if the gold chest was up there. I'm wasting so much time. Do what? Nice. Brilliant behemoth. Okay. This could be this could be pretty good. This could be a pretty good run. We got drone parts. We got the behemoth. Now all we really need is movement. And healing. Um I'm pretty sure the teleporter was up there. We also got to focus on getting more drones. I imagine on the next stage, there will be plenty of drones for us to acquire. Stone Titan. Whoa. Oh yeah, we are not going to be lacking for damage at all. And we got a horn. Amazing. Even though I don't have any equipment items. Okay, maybe we don't need that much healing because I, ha I forgot that I have the Mired Urn. Plus three med kits. So I think we're fine. We really just need, we need mobility. Actually, still, I am still going to lower the volume, like the SFX volume, probably by another 10%. Maybe even more. It really, it really feels like lowering the SFX volume hasn't done much, much. Like even though it's at like 40% volume. Okay, we've got a free, a free um, shop at the end of this stage, so I'll have to remember that.
it, was that did, did a grandparent just spawn in The spare drone parts turrets that you get are so fucking OP. <laughs> My only regrets with doing like a drone build is that like no matter how powerful your drones are or how many drones you have, if you encounter a vagrant or a grandparent and you are like within the vicinity of either of those things, you are like pretty much guaranteed um, to have them all wiped. Yo, thanks for the boost. That was like a free, <laughs> free verticality from grandparent over there. Grandma over here watching out for our well-being by throwing a, I don't know, is that a fucking star? There's a big chest over there. Don't you throw rocks at me, mister! Come on, come on, kill him. Come on, kill him! Kill him! Okay, cool. Also, Colonel Drone Man is my favorite character in Risk of Rain. If only I could play as Colonel Drone Man. <laughs> also, I found out, uh, because I, I joined the Risk of Rain Discord um, due to the fact that I was posting a lot of art, and I was like, you know what? I um, could just post my art there. Um, that'd probably be good and get my name out there and stuff, especially since I stream Risk of Rain a lot as well. Um, oh shit, brain stocks? Dope. But uh, I joined and I didn't realize that, I I mean, it makes sense, but uh, apparently a lot of artists like to make their Risk of, like make Risk of Rain OCs, um, where it's just like a champion that they came up with or whatever, or like a survivor that they came up with. And like, honestly, that makes sense. Like this game is about, like it is survivor based with like mechanics and shit. But like, because I'm an artist, I was like, I've never been the kind of person to make OCs for any sort of fandom, but I feel like it makes a special sense for like Risk of Rain. So um, I've already been like thinking about different survivors that I would wanna, that I would wanna do. I was thinking about like, I don't know, maybe I could do some sort of concept that would like be really popular on Twitter or whatever, where, <laughs> where it's just like, what if you put Link in Risk of Rain 2 and then you just fucking make a Risk of Rain survivor that's like inspired by Link and like draw it. Oh yeah. I'm sure there are plenty of mods for Risk of Rain 2 for putting, for putting uh, modded characters in. But I don't know, I'll, I'll have to, I, I, w I was thinking about um, a couple survivors that I could make. I might end up drawing those and posting them. Regardless, I've been posting a lot of my Risk of Rain art on my Twitter and on Reddit and on the, di on the Risk of Rain Discord. So if you wanna check those out, definitely give my art account a follow. We got ourselves a free shop, so we don't have to worry about getting the shrine. Quite a lot of drones on this map, though. I'm not digging the, the, the number of elixirs that I'm picking up, though. Oh, equipment drone. 
Sure, why not? He's got missiles and a turret. missed anything up top, but... Oh, there's a chest over there. Wait, what the fuck's that? Oh. Ocular HUD. Come on. Come on. I don't like these gravity wells things. They're so unreliable. Alright. I guess let's go check out over there, because I think we found everything that we can find over on this side. I think that's the, I think that's the reason why I think the sound effects are too loud, is I think they mixed, they mixed the enemy, um, sound effects lower than the, than the player sound effects, like the, like the, uh, the shooting and all the explosions and shit like that. Because the enemy spawning in is very quiet. It's a very, very quiet thing. Um, whereas if I had the sound effects at full volume, I could like clearly hear where things are spawning in around me. But like the like the ambient like wisp effect that you can hear when they're nearby is very, very quiet, and um, them spawning in is very quiet. But all of my items or all of my actions are uh, are louder. And I think it might be like a like a positional thing. Probably more so that like the the uh, the radius that you can hear loudest is probably focused on the player, and then like everything else is in reference to that. But I kind of wish that they had like different sliders where it's like you could change the um, the enemy effects and the weapon effects and the player effects and shit because ideally I would put I would put my player effects like the sound of my chain gun and shit I would put it down really low and then like enemy enemy effects I would probably put up higher because there's not a lot of enemies that have like like for instance like my chain gun very loud all of the time there's not a lot of enemies that have a very loud all of the time um uh, anything Generating scrap, shipping request form, and a mystery. I mean, I just feel like I don't run into enough. Like I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of regenerating scrap, and I was like, yeah, this is gonna be so OP because I can print so much from a green printer. But like green printers aren't that common. So, oh yeah, that's definitely more worth it than a than a regenerating regenerating scrap. There is a equipment thing, and I think we're gonna go. Egg. I, I, okay, I guess we're flying now. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, never mind. Why aren't the wings aren't moving? I'm like, <laughs> what is this? Okay, that's fine. It just looks so weird. Like it looks like I'm just no clipping. Now we have verticality. Yeah, I think we're gonna hold on to these wings. I think that's like, I'm not usually the kind of person that is that is into the wing equipment, but I think it would, it's really good on multi. <laughs> Plus we got our drones. Our drone family. I mean, we kind of are kind of like a, a little family. We're all like little, we're all robots. Me and my robot children. <laughs> Multi 
Multi doesn't have kids. He's he's also not. Uh, he also doesn't self reproduce. He just adopts broken drones. That's adorable. Oh my god, I need to draw that. Like just a multi with all of his drones. It's like his. These are my children. That would be so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and get another beer. I'll be right back. is really so cute. I need to draw. So cute that I'm going to put it in my notes app to like draw later. It's literally what I do. Like sometimes I'll just be like throughout the day. I'll be like, you know, that's a good idea. And then I'll just open my open up my notes app and just write some random little blurb about it. For instance, let me see. Um, like there's some there are some that are really, really vague. Like I, I have a note that is literally just labeled um, pitch black sky when all the stars have gone out far future. That's it that is it and it's so it's so ominous and then i have ones like this game concept help i died in 2022 and alien necromancers reanimated me thousands of years later and then there's fucking i feel like i had one that was like really dumb hold on the Goodman experiment. It's just, it's just like off-putting, like weird, just random shit. They like, I could tell, I just put it in there on a whim. Let's see. We got fucking, but this one I do actually want to draw. Like any sort of risk of rain content I think is good. I've just found that like risk of rain is, is really good for art. Like really good for like, paintings in 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 particular um just because of the way like there's not a lot of outlines um and the outlines that are there are strictly for like gameplay purposes like outlines of characters and enemies and shit um or like when you ping something but other than that everything is kind of like a uh it's all contrasts um if that makes sense there's no like outlines to it um so it makes really really good paintings um Multi drone family drawing. Amazing. <laughs> All right, so our next destination is the shop. I don't think I have any scrap which is unfortunate. However, I don't think there are many green items that I have that are like crucial to my build. I think really the main things that are carrying me right now are the red items and maybe the predatory instincts and the bleed. However, I don't think I need either of these. That's a, dang. I would have gotten the brain stocks if I didn't already have brain stocks, but I don't think there's much use in me getting another brain stocks. We're gonna do another loop. And then I think I'm gonna go after Mythrix. I think doing a second loop, if I'm going to go after the Voidling, I need to do it loop one. And it needs to be with a character that I'm really familiar with and really, like, really confident in my ability. Um, and I think really only Huntress and, like, Bandit, maybe, would be, like, good candidates for that. So I think for multi, I'm just going to try and get Mythric so I can get that second skin.
Wait, where the fuck did the... I guess I need to be really careful because my, uh... Jesus Christ! Oh, no, no, no! I need to be really careful because I can't remember if my drones can be taken over by these void things. Oh, it can't? Cool. I'm glad they patched that. <laughs> because imagine having a spare drone parts drone and then it turns on you. <laughs> My poor drone. I just saw my fucking drone get obliterated. I don't need those. Stop trying to get me to pick up Lost Tears lenses. What do we got? Oh, nice. We got a leechy, leechy boy. I mean, I think I'm gonna put that on my, oh, stop, 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 stop. Okay, I'm gonna put that on this and I'm gonna put, okay, actually, that's exactly what I wanted, cool. Super massive leech. And we got a band. And the teleport is over here. We still don't have movement speed though. Me more drones. I need more drones to add to the family. Oh, another brilliant behemoth. Okay. That's fun. You got an emergency drone. I love that we have so many healing drones in our squadron of, of death. Because, it, especially an emergency drone, because they will heal each other if one of them is too low. Robot communism is where you give everyone a, a, a chain gun. Everyone in the family gets a chain gun, because if everyone has a chain gun, there's no danger. <laughs> nobody's nobody's gonna have problems. Oh fuck. Ah! We got a quail! Boink! Ah! A ukulele printer. I was talking shit about the regenerating scrap earlier, but. It would be kind of nice if I had a scrapper right now. I might, I might just have to like risk it. I don't think I have. I mean, if I, okay. So worst case, worst case, I get rid of, I get rid of my predatory instincts. In that case, I would just run right over and pick up the lost Sears lenses over there. I think that's a fair, a fair exchange. Okay, let's, I, I'm gonna, how many, how many ukuleles do you think I need? Maybe like, four? Okay, we got rid of a band. Damage for damage. Bandolier. Shuriken, that's fine. Harpoon, that's fine. Okay, let's go, go for five. 
Oh, oh, that was a little bit rough, but I think it's fine. We got five ukuleles. Oh, the things we do for crowd control. I don't think there's anything up there. So I think we could probably just move on. I have, <laughs> I have such a big family of, of robot besties. Oh, nice. <laughs> we got a multi-achievement. <laughs> I have not looked into his, his alt shit, so I'll, I'll have to check that out after this. Oh, no. I got to get rid of that polyp ASAP. I ain't trying to... It, it, drones will not get possessed, but polyps will. Or at least I think they still do. Yeah, polyps will still get possessed, so. Wait, did you say it's because they're organic? Yeah. I think, okay, so this is the problem that I have with Risk of Rain. It, I mean, it's cool to an extent, but it feels like Risk of Rain the devs um, do a lot of things and, and like I understand it because this is my impulse for when it comes to like making games or whatever is that like I want to explain everything I want everything to make sense within the world and like have a justification for why it is um, and a lot of games and and like anime and games and shit they don't explain a lot of the things that happen that are like extraordinary or whatever like they it just is. And um, Risk of Rain, like, for instance, the thing where Captain, um, for the longest time, I found out that they patched it for the moon, but it's not for the, vo like, the void fields are still um, places that he can't bring his drones or use, or the places that he can't use his orbital abilities. Um, so, like, when you go into the void fields, you will not have access to your special or um, your orbital bar bar bombardment. You'll only have your primary ability and your secondary ability. And I think that's like a case of where like you justifying something within the world doesn't make, like it doesn't make sense in a gameplay sense. It, it's more annoying than it, it than like the things that it does for realism or whatever. So I think that that's the thing with Risk of Rain or whatever that, that I think my only problem is, is that it, it's cool and it's like a commendable endeavor and something that I would be tempted to do. But there are a few cases where like they like sacrifice the convenience of gameplay for uh, for realism sake and shit like like the drones it, like it's good that the drones can't be possessed by the ticks because that would mean that you would be like right now with all of my drones right now that have the drone parts it means that if a single one of them was possessed by the tick i would die like immediately because because of the fucking because of the uh, the turrets that's on them and that's not because they're not organic it's because it would be unfair and stupid um so, like, the fact that, like, the only reason the squid polyps get possessed because they're organic is just, it makes sense, it's cool, it's whatever, but, like, also, like, it just, it's just not fun. It's not fun if, like, everything that you possessed was able to get, or everything that you uh, had as an ally could get possessed and turned on you. We've got a drone over here, and we've got a equipment barrel over here. Yeah, like they instantly killed those, those those little bug things that came out. They're doing a, they're doing 120 damage per hit, like a thousand damage within a second. I would not survive that. <laughs> Don't tell me that the only reason that you took up that you made it so they couldn't get possessed is because is because they would is because they're not organic.
We get, yeah, we got a scrapper. Happy day when you have a scrapper when you need it. Okay, um, I'm gonna get rid of the pollen. And then I'm going to get rid of the banner. Then I'm gonna get rid of the watch and the fireworks. And these potions. Watch firework potion. I'm gonna get rid of the thing, 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 the geometric shape. <laughs> Watch fireworks. I'm gonna get rid of. Mm, I'm not gonna get rid of the horn because I can. I have the executive card. I'm gonna get rid of the grenade. I'm gonna get rid of. Firework. And I think I'm gonna get rid of Gore's tome as well. Because I'm not gonna be lacking for money. Yeah, see, th that ethereal enemy, I, I have not even touched it, and my drones have already, like, almost killed it. Hey, and there's another drone to add to the family. spare drone parts. It's like having your own personal, like, death squad at all times. Jesus Christ. They do so much damage. There's a Malachite enemy over there. I don't want another watch! Um, what's that? What's that? Is that a lunar... Yeah, it's a cleansing pool. I haven't used that cleansing pool at all. Um... Skosher had told me that you can use the cleansing pool to permanently up upgrade a stat by like donating a lunar item to it. And I guess I, I just haven't like found a convenient way to uh to do that. You know? I've like a lunar pool is usually like a really rare thing. Uh, they they spawn consistently on like the Aphelian sanctuary map. But again, that's not a thing that you're guaranteed to get every run. There's a turret. I'm just gonna keep by I have so many like stationary turret <laughs> stationary turret drones. I don't think that they get the extra do they wait, hold on. Let me look at it. He does he does get the extra turret. I didn't realize that. Holy shit. It's like spinning. It's spinning on his back end. He has a spinning turret on his turret. That's amazing. Yeah, I've just accumulated like six or seven stationary turrets. Don't do no, don't. Okay. Cool. And there's a big chest and a regular chest and another turret. My goal is to have so many turrets that when I spawn into the next stage, they're just everywhere. Hey, there's a drone over there. We have to rescue all of the drones. That's our mission. That is the, that is the purpose of this. Oh my God, another red item. 
interstellar desk plant. Nice. Our purpose, our mission, is to adopt as many drones as possible. Because what are you gonna do? We can't we can't just leave them here. They need fam they need love. Drones need love. No, Jesus. Oh, I didn't realize that I had so many healing drones that they can just out-heal the stone. That's fine. They can just out-heal the stone titan. That's fine. Just a flying menace. Rip. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have we're gonna have much problem beating Mythrix. I can't remember if our tur if our drones come with us to the moon. I'll be quite upset if they don't, because I feel like my drones are carrying me. To an extent. I don't think it's that bad. I think they're, they're definitely killing a lot of the, the ambient enemies that are coming in. And I can do a lot of really good single target damage, but... Oh my god, this run has been going for almost an hour. Holy shit. Okay, so our next stage is stage eight, which means we should be getting another red item. Oh no, never mind. One more stage till we get another red item. <laughs> they do so much damage. It's so obnoxious. They're just like... You'll hear an enemy spawn and then they'll just all instantly go firing squad mode. I, I really genuinely think that spare drone parts is one of the most OP red items in the game. Like when you when you get enough drones, it's it's very much the same effect. It it's like in Risk of Rain, the ideal is that eventually you want to get to the point where like just existing, for the most part, causes uh, causes everything to explode. But usually that implies that you're at least like firing your primary weapon, right? You're at least do you're at least pressing some some sort of button. But with the drones, you literally don't have to press anything. They just, they just, and then it's gone, deleted. I'm really, I haven't seen that like really, really big drone guy in a while. I would like to get that. I feel like that would complete my drone drone family on a, on a, on a very fundamental level. <laughs> we have Colonel Drone Man, and then we need his big his big drone boyfriend, um, the the big helicopter drone guy. Oh, you're good. Um. 
All right, we got three. Oh, speaking of drone dad. <laughs> <Wake up. laughs> yes. Yes. We are. We are at at divine levels of drone family right now. We have Colonel Grown Man or Colonel Grown Man and his boyfriend, the TC280 prototype. Nothing can stop us. I think really the only thing that would make this this run better would be <laughs> would be getting the Paul's goat hoof. Like a like a goat hoof printer or something. I should probably I'm gonna try and get the the blue or the um the lizard shrine. So that I can exchange some of the scrap before we hit the fourth stage. Oh, it's not it's not even over here. It's probably all the way over there. We literally don't have to worry about anything. Everything dies within seconds of it spawning. Unless I already got it at the beginning. I think, oh, I did. I'm dumb. I was like, I need to get the shrine. But turns out I already got the shrine. Oh my god, Jesus. Ah! Don't do it. This is so ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. What even is this run? Like this is, this is exactly the kind of run that I would get when I'm not streaming. So we're going to be moving on to the, the, we're going to get a red item next stage, and then we're going to try and fight Mithrix once we're done with that. Okay. Please, please be something good on the green item side. I've got so many white scrap. Fuck. I mean, we've got a hard light. That would mean that I would <coughs> I would have to sacrifice three green three green items, one of them potentially being a guillotine. Okay, that wasn't bad. 
cool. This definitely helps out a lot. This gives us the movement that we were missing. Let's get our next red item, finish this next stage. Then we got Mithrix. Oh, and we got Siren's Call. I, I, You know, I, it's not often that I get a Siren's Call for uh, a second loop. Yeah, we're still not doing we're, we're still not doing bad at damage at all. And we already have so much gold. Holy shit. Yeah. We are not going to need to kill anything at all. I'm just going to open up all these shrines. Symbiotic Scorpion. <laughs> oh my god! We're not gonna die. We're not gonna die, are we? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. We are... Holy shit. We are reducing damage on hit permanently with a chain gun. We were already melting enemies. And now they're only gonna get meltier. Okay, I've got a scrapper. I've got some useless items that I can get rid of. Like this watch. I don't need this roll of pennies anymore. I don't need this grenade. Are there any green items that I don't need? Um, there's fireworks that I can get rid of while I'm thinking at least. I can get rid of the shield. I don't think I need the shield. But I don't think that it's gonna be worth it to get rid of any green items unless I can get five of them. And I don't think I have enough green items that I want to get rid of. Shop. Maybe we will have enough green items after all. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Deathmark, Fuel Cell, and Shuriken. <gasps> Syringe Printer. Oh, my God. We are going to... We are gonna have a laser beam. There's no way, there's no way we're gonna die. If I kept going, we would not die. There's, n I'm about to get like 10, so like 10 syringes. I've been saving all of my scrap for this one moment. This is insane. This is ridiculous. We've been waiting all run for for this for this printer for this for this one printer. 
and now it is here. <laughs> I actually don't know, like, what's the... I mean, I'm just going to get this many. I think that's that's good. But we are... We are at maximum, maximum damage at this point. My only fear is that Mythrix is going to take all of our, take all of our items and absolutely destroy us. You know what? That that's entirely possible now that I'm thinking about it. Now I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna grab all these. Don't mind me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then I think there was a scrapper. I still need to. I still need to summon the the guy, the guy who gives us the item. There he goes. You hear a distant whirring. He's not gonna survive. There's no way he's gonna survive that long. Melt him. He's got 400 stacks of armor reduction. Jesus. I, I overestimate. <laughs> and then Risk of Rain does that, where it's like, you think that you're, you think that you're so invincible? I'm gonna fuck up your day, buddy. Wow, that was... That was a run. That was really that was really good. I I think my mistake was that with my hovering, I was staying in like one Y, one Y position, so they were able to like really easily lock on to where I was at because I was just staying in like a straight line instead of going up and down. But anyway, still very very good. Um, and that is exactly why I think. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think that many of the and the end game shit is possible on loop one on, on loop two of uh of a monsoon run. I think if you're going to do if you're gonna fight a boss on monsoon, it needs to be the first loop. <coughs> because otherwise it's just gonna get too out of hand. I think it the only reason that you should go beyond the first loop is if you're intending on continuing for like to see how long he could go but let's see what he got i think we got an achievement but scrap launcher fire a rocket that explodes for 360 percent damage hold up to four i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try that out on my next run because that sounds pretty pretty cool i don't like the fact that i can't snipe but but uh, but I'll try it out. It maybe it would be one of those things where instead of the nail gun, I do the rebar and the scrap launcher. But yeah, um, I think after that run, we are gonna call it a night there. Um, thank you so much for being there. I uh, appreciate you all. Um, have a good rest of your night. Stay hydrated, and I'll see you this weekend with some more golden sun. Peace out.